YouTube, my name is Mesa Sean, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. All right, folks, I've got kind of a two-in-one for you guys here today. Um, we're going to go over the whole new system with regards to the Umbral Decoder, the Prismatic uh, Recaster. We're going to talk about Umbral Engrams. We're going to talk about focusing. But uh, another really important thing that we're going to talk about uh, towards the end, and I'm going to show you some examples, is uh, the meta has changed, or at least it feels like or at least I feel like rocket launchers got some sort of stealth buff in PVE, okay? Because when doing the heroic contact, contact is the new public event activity over on IO right now. Um, today we were doing it and we noticed this one dude was using rockets the whole time and he was wasting everything. So what I did was I switched over to this thing here, my heretic, which has a cluster bomb, demolitionist, and let's see, I put it on black powder and quick launch. And man, tremendous difference in terms of taking out big boys, yellow bars, um, even somewhat, you know, the champions. But for the most part, use rockets. Give them a try. If you're struggling, I was using machine guns. I was, we were trying a uh, tractor cannon. We we're trying everything here. Once we switched to rockets, man, we noticed a huge difference. So I'm encouraging you right now. When you go in to do uh, contact and you want to do it heroic, I'm going to show you also a, um, an example on how to make it heroic. It's real simple. Whenever you see the uh, orange lines going across, run to those orange lines. You're going to see two, I think, yellow bars spawning and a champion. Kill the champion. And I think as long as you get three or four of those yellow blooms, they call them, dunked into the uh, moat thingy or whatever you call it, um, it will turn it heroic. I don't know. It's really weird. Sometimes we deposited four or five and it didn't turn heroic, but I believe you got to get it within a certain time frame, I think. But the key is you see an orange beam, go to it. Kill the yellow bars, kill the champion, grab the bloom, deposit it, and then after three, it should turn heroic. And everything is high level, so um, good luck with it. But use rocket launchers. Pick out your best rocket launchers. I was using mine with cluster bombs, and I was noticing some really good results. At the end of the video, I'm going to let a heroic uh, run roll out for you guys. But let's get into this here. So we've got this new Engram here, the Umbral Engram here. And I even have one here that's a strength-focused Umbral Engram. Now, you would decode them here... And that's where you would cash them in, right? However, you can also focus them with this prismatic recaster. Uh, no, prismatic, yeah, recaster. I was about to call it caster. But let's talk about this whole thing. Now, this thing is kind of similar to the bunkers in terms of leveling it up. Let's go here. And if we go in here, you're going to see there's different ranks. One, two, three. We're not going to go through everything and all of these different bonuses here. But you want to pick and choose carefully what you pick, just like we did with the bunkers and the obelisks and things like that, before you upgrade. And when you go here, you could choose to focus your items. Like for here, I could choose something that's pyramid-based. If I go in, uh, there's an auto rifle that's 360 rounds per minute, slow firing, and there's a fusion. I got a couple of bows. The sword is awesome. Oh, my God. Uh, pulse rifle, high impact as usual. Bungie, can you ever not make a high impact one? The sword is amazing. Uh, it's like a uh, bolt caster from Destiny 1. You have a caster frame. Launch a heavy projectile attack. Uh, heavy attacks are stronger with full energy attacks uh, partially bypass elemental shield. So you want to try to get those. Uh, so I got the sword. Uh, I got a couple of bows. The bows look ridiculous when they're on your back because they're enormous. But I really want to get the auto rifle to try it out. And I am absolutely adoring this exotic. And you'll see more of this exotic gameplay uh, when we do the heroic contact event. But back to here. So... There's two key things that you want to farm for, and that's going to be Twisted Energy, which comes from your weeklies here, and then also your Altered Elements, okay? Now, the Altered Elements are going to be used for different things, too. So, uh, as you rank up everything here, uh, you're going to get some rewards here, some mods that you can buy and so forth, okay? But the key thing is, on all three characters, you want to do the bounties again, okay? Uh, I believe the repeat, yeah, the repeatables just give you XP. I wouldn't even bother with them. Just go for these here on all three characters, the weeklies and also the dailies. So right now, I could just do the basic Umbral focusing. So like I said, I could do the pyramid weapons, I can do the pyramid armor set if I want. Let's try to focus them and get some better rolls in it. Uh, there's some legacy stuff here you can get, or you can get also the dredgen focused uh, stuff here too. Gnawing Hunger, great weapon. A Night Watch, good weapon. Uh, Bad Omens, if you get a good roll in it, could be good also. Okay. As you move forward, then you can you could focus your um, your different weapons you can get. Same basic thing. 
Uh, and then as you move down the line, then you could really start to focus what you want in terms of your loot. That's where the these uh, altered elements and also trace overrides are going to come into place. So those altered elements, that's what I was talking about where you get from these bounties here. Altered elements, you get plus 25 from each of these dailies. The weeklies give you twisted energy. Now, Twisted Energy is going to uh, rank up you overall in this whole system here. So I have 250. Let's just cash them in. It's probably not going to get me to the next. I think you need 500. Um, from your season pass, you also will get one right at rank 2. Let's see. I don't know if, uh, if there's another one in here somewhere. I'm surprised there's not. No, there's not. But you, do, I think you will get some bonuses where you get more of those uh, as you complete things. So... All right, so you can pick up some bounties as you rank up these things here. Uh, let's cash in some of these um, some of these engrams and see what we can get here. So uh, I want to get some more weapons here. So let's focus. Well, it's going to be a sword. Maybe we can get a better sword. I don't really care about armor. I don't. I don't care about the legacy stuff. So let's see what we can get here. So we've got that. Okay, and let's focus another one here. Let's focus two of them, and then the rest we're gonna just cash in. So right here, focus umbral weapon containing a weapon from the darkness. Now, even though it shows a sword in it, does that mean it's definitely going to be a sword? Let's find out. So we're going to cash uh, these two in. Let's see. Is this going to be two swords? No. Okay. So it doesn't matter. We got the... Ooh. Okay. We got that. And okay. That's the auto rifle, I hope. Yes. No. Okay. Uh, we got substance and we got uh, unrelenting. Rapidly defeating targets trigger health regeneration. Guardians and powerful combatants count as more than one kill. Okay. Cool. 360 rounds per minute, stability, not so good, but we got high cal, oh my god, okay, great. So even though it has the sword icon on it, just ignore it. So let's go back and see if we could focus a few more, because I want to try to get some more of that new stuff there. Uh, we're going to go here, go here, focus, let's see, because uh, we have so many altered elements. Uh, let's focus another one, another one, I'm just going to keep focusing, you know what, let's just do them all, just because I want to keep getting, now remember, I could... Just turn them in, the regular ones here, and just see what I get. You know what? Let's just do it for science sake. Let's just cash them in and see what I get from them. Watch. They'll end up being armor. Okay. So, let's do the weapons first. Uh, probably going to go to my postmaster. Okay. We got the auto rifle again. Uh, okay. We got another sword. Uh, let's see. We got another sword. Can we get the fusion? Another bow. I cannot get the fusion today for, the, for my life. Unless one of these. So, let's see what these are going to give me here. Uh, we got an old helmet. Okay, so this is why you'd want to focus this. So I don't want to get old stuff. I want to get some new stuff here. So let me go focus that. And we're going to focus it in terms of a weapon because I want to. I really want to try to get the fusion. We're going to focus you. Try to get a weapon. I don't really care about armor at this stage right now. Okay, so what are you going to give me? And let's see. Okay. Oh, we got the fusion. Man, how lucky am I? Beautiful. Did we get a good roll on it? Let's see. What do we get? Slideways and uh, let's see sympathetic arsenal reloading after a final blow also reloads stowed weapons Okay, slide shot and it's battery particle repeater extended barrel Okay stability and it's stability. Okay, not bad. Okay, then this last one here. We have a strength um, Focused umbral engram that just dropped in now these are gonna drop in the wild also too So you'll see them from strikes from just playing killing bosses even doing the contact event and, okay, so we got a helmet. Let's see what the stat roll is on it. So, we have a 55 here. Here we've got a 54, 55, so... Alright, not a... That thing... Oh, wait, hold on. Strength... Uh, Alright, so it's got a plus 14 strength. Is that supposed to be a big deal? I don't know. Maybe not. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Is there anything else I need to go over in terms of that? Yeah, so it's really just grinding out those bounties every week to get those two key materials, which are going to be the Twisted Energy and also the altered elements and you want to rank up this just like you did with the bunker and also from here you could focus your uh, engrams to get loot that you want whether it's the new stuff or some of the old stuff and as you level up you'll be able to focus things even further but you're going to need some altered elements and also umbral engrams which you you then could focus from there and then you really could hone in on focusing some things here so uh, pretty cool stuff, and uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to um, let some footage roll out of us doing me, Kristen, and Spencer channel members doing a um, heroic contact event. And I'm using my, uh, let's see, I am using my heretic, which I love this thing. I'm glad I never dismantled it, because this thing seemed to be doing work. Uh, even if it was like a Hydra with a shield up, I just flew above him, launched that rocket into him, watched those cluster bombs go boom. 
And uh, yeah, so guys, the takeaway from this is hopefully you learn some things, even though I kind of breeze through this whole section here, but it's really simple. Just do these bounties, level this thing up here. You can choose what you want in terms of the uh, Umbral Engrams, which I think is great. I love this whole system. And uh, use rocket launchers. Take your favorite rocket launchers, try them all out, see how they work. Le uh, let me know in the comment section how they work for you. All right, here's the gameplay of a heroic that we completed. It was just barely, but we got it done. And uh, that's it, guys. So leave me a hashtag made it to the end if you made it to this part of the video or even the end of the video. And that's it. Drop a like on this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Twitter at Mesa Sean. Check out my stream. Usually, know it's on YouTube. And that's it. I am out of here like Vladimir. Yeah, I'm looking around for it. Okay, I'm gonna pay attention to the time and see if this happens at two minutes. No, okay, right top, here. top. All the way up top, you see the beam? Oh yeah, you know what, that rocket did a lot of damage to him. Yeah, it did. I think rockets yeah, are the way to go. Yep. I need to look at the patch notes. Alright, I have my ore, but I'm gonna hold on to it. That's gonna drop it? Yeah, I could drop it. Okay. Is that a heavy ammo crate? That's a heavy ammo crate. Right here, on me. Yes. What? What? Are you, you serious? Yeah. yeah. Holy shit, I'm gonna grab that. Yeah, that's cool. I did not notice that before. I did not notice it either. Okay, I love this. I love this. Hmm. <sighs> Okay, red light up top. Rockets are doing good, man. I think. Cluster bomb maybe got a uh, buff. That's I gotta check. A lot of I gotta check. Yeah, that's what's on my rocket. Okay. Alright, Wells going down. That heavy ammo crate's not moving. Just so you guys know. Because it's a overload. Oh my God, do this. Did they buff rockets? Holy shit, dude, this thing's doing so much damage. Oh, wow. Okay. Need rockets from now on, guys. <laughs> yeah, rockets is what it's at. Okay, um, orange beam on Mesa. You can res me right there. Yep. I am out of rockets, though, for these guys. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get the stun on the on the mini. Okay. Oh, he's already stunned. The heavy ammo crate is unlimited too. Yeah, like. I wonder if that's like un someone unlocked that or something. Like, is that a perk of some sort? Yeah. I know, that's what I'm wondering too. Although I only got three rockets out of that one. Oh, I got full out of that. I was empty too. Okay, uh... Take 
fucking big boys. They're all tethered. Okay, nice. Okay, we're clearing stuff way faster now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, red beam over here. Yeah. I am out of uh, rocket, so I don't have anything. Yeah, I got no heavy either. I got a. Uh, I them. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll get the stun. Nice. It makes a big difference when you have the right mods as well. Oh yeah, dude, that rocket launcher is so much damage. I th um, it looks like the heavy crate's back up. Yeah, it is. Okay, Wells going down again. You guys, money. Yeah, we gotta get more money. Uh, I've never seen that heavy crate before. Like, is that new or something? No, I haven't seen it. Either. Oh, dude, yeah, those clusters are doing sick damage, man. Yeah, I gotta get one of the clusters on it. Oh, there's a up here, up here, up top, on me. Yeah, let's see him. What? Oh, okay, we got to go. What's that? I don't know what happened, but anyway, we did it. Go. So. All right, I'm gonna put a well down right by the heavy crate. He killed me in my well. Okay, he back. Okay, we gotta go kill these blights back here. That has an ogre in front of it. An unstoppable ogre. <laughs> oh my god. This is 1040. Wow, that is brutal. Disappear. Guardian down. Okay, he's not immune anymore. Yep. I can take down that blight. He's standing right on the heavy ammo crate too. Halfway, we can do this. Nice bubble, nice bubble. Oh my god. His stomp is instant. Death. Yeah, we got this though, we got this. Okay, go to the um, blight up top. Shit. I didn't think he was gonna go immune again. Sacrifice my life. <laughs> Lights down. down. Oh my god, that ogre. Shield is down. That's fine. Oh, he's really weak, guys. Come on, 
nades if you have them. Oh, we got it. We got so it. close to grenades. Yeah. Oh, we got it. Did we get it? Yeah, we got it. All right. <gasps> rockets, man. Rockets, I'm telling you. Cluster bomb rockets. Cluster bomb rockets. So I'm using um, the heretic, demolitionist, cluster, black powder, implosion. I just know, guys, yeah, I noticed a tremendous amount of damage from big boys, yellow bars, and also, um, whatchamacallit, um, even some of the barrier or unstoppables or even overloads for that matter. I mean, not as much, obviously, but for yellow, for big boy yellow bars, yeah, for sure. Okay.